What's going on guys? Welcome to your 10th Java game applet tutorial. What we're going to do is we're going to set up the platforms that our ball is going to bounce on. Um, so let's get into it. Let's create a new class called platform and set that bad boy up. Alright and again our platform we want it to draw to the canvas. Uh, we also want to have some parameters that we know the boundaries of so we can check for collision. Um, and also we want kind of a horizontal speed which is always going to be going to the left so the horizontal speed is going to be or DX is going to be negative so let's set some of these variables up we're going to say int um, DX int DX we're also going to set up our default constructor um, again just control space and it sets it up for you and then we can set up a DX to be like negative 10 something like that to start out with Next thing that we need to do is we need to have an update method again that's going to draw to our game applet. So we're just going to go over to our ball class and kind of see how we set that up. Again, it takes a starting uh, starting point within its parameter. That's the applet that we're going to be drawing to. I'm just going to copy this right here and uh, paste it. We're also going to have a paint method. So let's get that going. Copy, paste and uh, right now obviously we have a ton of errors because we don't have any of these variables defined but let's just kind of clean out everything and we also want to set up initial x and a y um, so we're going to set up some new int variables x y width um, height you know kind of the the general uh, layout of an object that we want to paint here uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the constructor set up some of these variables we're going to set our x equal to be like 300 um, just to kind of give a rough estimate, our Y position to be, uh, might as well do 300 as well. There we go. We also want to set up our width equal to be maybe 120 to start out with. Again, we're just uh, going to adjust these later. Height also, do height of 40, something like that. All right, so now we kind of have the basic structure of our platform. Now we have to paint the platform again within our paint method. First thing that we want to do is we want to have our platform be a different color. Uh, eventually we'll use like a PNG or a ping um, to define what this actually looks like. But as for now, we're just going to refer to the color blue. And instead of saying uh, we want to fill an oval, we actually want to make a rectangle. So we're going to say g dot, g dot draw uh, rectangle. And for, again, our x, y, width, and height, we're going to refer to our variables of our class. So there we go. Let's test this out, see what it looks like as of right now. Nothing. Awesome. Bam. Sweet. All right. That's because we didn't put it in our starting point class yet. So let's go back to our starting point class, set up a new platform variable. Platform. We're going to call this plat or platform P. Uh, set it equal to a new platform within our uh, start method so p equals a new platform so we're set up there again within our run method of our thread we want to update our platform so we're just going to say p dot update uh, which again our update method has nothing right now but again we're going to pass in the applet information by referring to this again this is the starting point parameter that we want for update method within our platform next thing that we want to do is we want to go down to our paint method and just paint our platform so we're going to refer to the variable p paint and then we're going to pass in the graphic g um, pretty much the same concept that we've done so far so let's save this now run it check it hopefully it uh, has a blue platform eh, it's it's decent right now um, maybe we should fill it uh, so we're going to go back to our platform class and we're going to say uh, g dot fill rec instead of just uh, draw rec so let's see how that looks we're gonna save this comment out the draw rec right there and we have a blue rectangle so that's probably all we're gonna do in this tutorial uh, just get the basic structure down get it printed to the screen and uh, there we go uh, thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you later have a good one <laughs> 